I genuinely just kind of had this empty wondering, knowing what that felt like. And being here now, I just feel incredibly grateful. I didn't always used to be like this. Definitely not. But it could just be a combination of experiences growing up throughout the years. But I do remember maybe three, four years ago, I stumbled upon a TED Talk. I think it was a suggested video. And it really was insightful. For me, it was when he said, gratefulness does not come from happiness. Happiness comes from gratefulness. And those words have always stuck with me and I remind myself of them. Sometimes you can't control things that happen to you and you can't help but be in a tough situation and react to them. But I'm just glad that I'm still able to overcome challenges. I'm sure this is not the last of them. It's one of those friends that you only see once a year. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but I literally only see him once a year. When it's that time, you just are like, okay, hey, are you in town? Do you wanna uh, like hang out? And I'm like, yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> and that's just literally every year how it works out. And it's not on purpose, it just is like once a year. Um, I have some extra time. It's the weekend. I don't have to worry too much about traffic, but I just kind of want to kill time since I'm about an hour from where I normally live. I have this like urge to grab some pizza and just watch the sunset. It's five o'clock, sun's gonna set pretty soon here. I just want to enjoy my time. treating myself right now. Cheers. <laughs> Whatever occurs, recognize it as right. Everything is right in its own nature, which is ceaseless motion and change. If we don't struggle with this reality, then wherever we are, we will be happy. Even when we get old, we don't make a big deal out of it. You stand up and your back hurts and you think, yeah, that's about right. It's right, so don't fight it. When the pain stops, you might think, oh, that's better, but it's not better. You're still alive, so it will hurt again. Okay, привет, привет. I put up my dress form. It's a table for sewing with, um, oh my god, a balloon heart. I got this. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally so embarrassed. I got this. <laughs> I can't tell the story. Um, I got this maybe for my birthday and then had no reason to pull it up. I got like a bunch of heart balloons. There's like pink and white and red and they're just so cute and like. I just, I just, I deserve this, so I blew it up. I want a, a Sharpie so I can write on it. Um, probably something explicit. I don't know. We're still deciding. Um, then I have, like, my canvases. I want to hang them up around here, even though there's literally no wall space because we're in an RV. I really want to, but I want to hang them up, and I really want to make, like, get more canvases and paint more, and, like, I just, I just, my goal was to, like, start sewing, and so... I just, I get distracted so easily. Oh my god. Oh my god! I just ripped the canvas! Oh my god. 
They're freaking broken. Oh my god, could you imagine if I just stayed there? That's not gonna stay though, like look. Oh my god, what if she just stays there? Literally, I feel overwhelmed by the thought of sewing. But I just really want to also at the same time. What kind of weirdo has only a blue Sharpie, yo? What am I? What was I gonna read? Oh yeah. Great, great, lovely. Enough sewing, it is pasta time. If you're thinking that's a fire hazard, it is.
I can't get over how cool everything looks out here. It's such a beautiful day.